ब्लबियर लेजेंड हु एवर यू आर यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट एब्सोल्युटली राइट Hey guys and welcome back to another video the championship yes. review of the 2020 2021 season oh boy let's see how we go <laughs> on but if we cast our map our minds back to last season they think you came away with 32 points that's amazing for how hard it is to predict the championship and i came away with a dismal 12 points so let's see <laughs> if we can both beat last year's score but uh, this is how it yeah. goes down just to remind you uh, at the start of the season we predicted each and every team where they'd finish in the league table yeah. uh we get 5 points for an exact match 3 points if we're one place away above or below yeah. and we get 1 point if we're two places above or below hopefully this isn't going to be a massive video for you mm -hmm. guys but let's just <laughs> dive straight into it with Nathan your 24th to 22nd positions please So this is where it gets dire for me and the only place in the table where it is pretty poor. So I had Rob from finishing bottom, they finished 23rd. In all fairness, I would have had this right if Sheffield Wednesday didn't exist. I thought it would be a bad season for Rotherham. Uh yo-yo club up and down from League 1 all the time and they sealed relegation again. Now this, next up in 23rd, is the worst prediction <laughs> of all time. But to be fair, no one had it. Barnsley 23rd. They finished 5th. I'm sorry, but how can we put faith in Varian Ismail who spent an hour and a half managing in Greece? One match. I'm sorry, but how can you back that? They only narrowly survived relegation last year as well, and they basically got the same squad, but Amazing, but it'll be interesting to see what happens next season without the likes of Daryl Dyke, who has gone back to Orlando City, and certain key players like that. Will they still be able to compete? But it is a very young squad there. Exciting as well. Next up, 22nd, I had Luton Town. Nope. They actually finished in 12th. 10 positions out. Shocking one. I thought they just wouldn't have enough and it'd be second season syndrome for them. That wasn't the case. Nathan Jones done a brilliant job bringing in some good sign-ins. Uh, some great Welsh youngsters there as well uh, coming through the ranks. And actually quite a few players going to Euro 2020, which is uh, quite good for Luton. So massively underestimated there. So I only get three points out of that lot. It gets better from here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get better for me though, Nathan. This is probably my best section yeah. of the championship table. Bottom of the table, I had Wickham Wanderers. Finish in there, so I was only two places um, away from that. They finished 22nd, yep. had them in 24th, whereas, of course, Darren Moore's mm -hmm. uh, Sheffield Wednesday finished bottom in 23rd position. I did actually predict yep. Sheffield Wednesday. I thought with that 12 point deduction, I thought they'd be good enough to get a number of mm -hmm. points, but ultimately get relegated, which they did. So that I did get reduced to that six, one. of course, if you do recall. It did, yeah, I think, and that bolstered them up a little bit, but it didn't save their season. Mm -hmm. And in 22nd position, I did go for Yo-Yo Cub Rotherham. Maybe we'll see them back in the championship Probably. in a couple of seasons' time. Uh, three points for them for my prediction of 22nd, and they did actually finish 23rd. Yes. So next up, we move on to the, the next phase where we go from 21st up to 17th. And this is where it gets dire for <laughs> myself. 21st position, Nathan Jones's Luton Town. Now... Yeah, what can we say? They finished 12th. Oh, yeah. oh, I haven't done this, um, actually. Is that phase two? Oh, I haven't done that, have I? Okay, right, okay. So this is where it gets dire for me. Luton Town, I had them down as 21st. They finished in 12th position. So, yeah, well out on that one. Zero points. And it's going to be the same yeah. story for the next few clubs as well. well Bar <laughs> yeah, Barnsley, of course, finishing 5th position. I had them to predict 20th. Not as bad as you in this, but all the same. You know, mm -hmm. nobody saw this one coming. Playing good football throughout the season. And unlucky not to uh, yeah. reach the playoff final. Next up, we have another dire prediction. Reading had a, a very, very good season, finishing seventh just outside the playoff zone. So spearheaded in attack by Lucas Jow. I think he scored something like, was it 19 goals in all for uh, the Royals? So 
he personally had a good season yeah. but not for my prediction next up another blue and white striped yes. team of QPR they finished ninth. I had them in 18th position another zero points but it gets a little bit better for me for 17th mm -hmm. I predicted Coventry City they finished in 16th position uh, back in the championship now yeah. and uh, I think this is their first season or was it second season first back? season it was their first season back and uh, I think they'll feel satisfied their fans mm -hmm. with that position I'm satisfied with that result giving me three points and ten points at this stage yes. overall so in 21st out Wickham just didn't have enough the fair play to him for taking it to the last day of the season so many people had them to finish bottom I had a bit of faith in them they actually played really good football up until the end of the season Gareth Ainsworth one of the most underrated managers in the league and they did give a lot of teams yes. a lot of trouble just didn't really have enough firepower did they like a certain team as well we won't mention that one. Uh, but anyway, moving on. They'll be back next year either way. Then I had Reading in 20th. Now, when you bring in uh, Vlako Paunovic from Chicago Fire, one of the, well, what you could say one of the worst teams in the MLS over the last decade, um, it was always going to go badly. But some of the players that they have, they have a fairly okay squad there. Lucas Zhao, as you've said, very good season. Some great youngsters there. John Swift, Swift as well. John, John Swift, Swift yeah. yeah. Another one to put out there. Um, George Pushkas coming off the bench as well, uh, slotting in there. Some very, very good players in that side. Um, just massively underestimated. Really. And, and of course, Cardiff's nemesis in Meaty. Yes. Oh, they, they, it's always Meaty. <laughs> I had to get it out there. Anyway, next up, I had QPR finishing in 19th. QPR have been on a down. Well, they've been on the decline for a number of years now. Last year, I haven't. Well, predicted them to get relegated. That didn't happen. They strengthened well, bringing in the likes of Charlie Austin. Uh, Mark Walton's done a great job there, to be fair to him. Uh, been in since last season, really refining things there, bringing in some decent players. And yeah, ninth position, massively underestimated. Then I had Sheffield Wednesday in 18th. With the squad that, <laughs> that they have. Come from. Yes. Well, what I was thinking was with the squad that they have. How did they not do something with that? You have like, oh, Patterson, Adam Reach, just how? How, 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 how? Barry Bannon, another one. Mm, with that squad. Hot, now. Yeah, he is hot and cold now, but they have they have a fairly decent squad that should be doing so much better. Going through loads of managers, Tony Poulis, Darren Moore, Gary Monk, I think, was there as well. <laughs> just... Oh dear. Enjoy League One next season. Sheffield Wednesday aren't going straight back up. But anyway, next up, 17 5 Birmingham City. With a squad that they have been in decline for a number of years. They have an okay ish squad, but I just knew that there wouldn't be enough there. But they were in eradication brassle until they got rid of the absolutely boring football of Atal Karanka, former Nottingham Forest and Middlesbrough boss, who where they can attack but not defend, but they can defend but not attack. Bizarre football. Yeah, Lee Boy, he, he did all Lee right. Boy and coming in, yes. At the end of the season as well, he did blood a lot of the youngsters, so fair play to him on that. Yes, they are, they are starting to improve a lot, but I can't. I think that's going to be a long-term job. But out of that lock, six points, I'll take it. It gets better, though. So 16-5, I had my first perfect score of the predictions video in Coventry. Coming up from League One, I thought they had a fairly strong squad for League One as well. They finished the season off really well. I believe they even won League One as well, yeah, didn't Mark they? Mark Robbins did well, didn't Mark they? Robbins, underrated manager, really doing well in the championship. Yes, they did drop off towards the end of the season, but solid season and great to see them back at the Rico Arena next year as well. Then a disaster, Huddersfield. I thought Carlos Cobran, of course, Bielsa's former number two, would do well with the attractive style of play. But he's like Mikel Arteta to Pep Guardiola. They nearly got relegated. Disaster. Then next up, I had Bristol City. Thought they'd do okay. They have some decent players. Obviously not a fan of them, of course. But disaster season. They're on a decline. They need to start reinvesting in their squad. Massively overhaul everything they do. It's rebuild time for them. Another team in a relegation battle there. Then after that, Preston. Thought it'd be another mediocre season for them. Not enough to get relegated, but not enough to make a challenge to the playoffs. And look at that. 13th position on the nose. Then I had Blackburn, thought they'd have another great season under Tony Mowbray, even though it, flaky football, you could say. Start off really well, Adam Armstrong scored so many goals, absolutely superb. Not bad for a Newcastle reject, of course, along with Ivan Tony. But I believe they're like 56 goals between them, or something ridiculous in the championship. But yeah, Blackburn had a great season. 
did fall off towards the end, but they can only build from that. So I'll take it up to 19 points now for me. Okay, so 16th for me. I did go for Birmingham City. Uh, yeah, not a the greatest season for them but yeah. uh, at least they avoided relegation I was just a one point uh, two sorry two places away from where they finished in 18th so one point there next Huddersfield coming down from the Premier League a couple of seasons ago they had a bit of a disaster of a season finishing 20th position I had them in 15th so five positions away yeah a zero points for them and I think they're going to struggle next season big time uh, then will. we had Middlesbrough <laughs> I had them in 14th position Finished in town, so only four away, but a, a real tough nut to crack. Neil Warnock. Yeah, Neil Warnock there. I, I don't know what sort of season. If he gets the funds up, then maybe they can get into the playoffs next season, but uh, I'm not too sure. Then I had Swansea City in 13th position. They, of course, finished fourth. Yeah. A lot of the Swansea fans thought they had won the league in December. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but uh, I was uh, well out on there. Fair mm. play, Swansea get into the final as well, which we, they weren't good enough in the end to beat Brentford. I also feel for the deluded Swansea fans who said that Morgan Gibbs White, who half the time was out injured is bet somehow better than Victor Camarasa. Put your thoughts in the comments, guys, on that complete delusion from down there. <laughs> Fantastic. And in Terrible. 12, in 12th position, I had Bournemouth. Now, I did think Bournemouth got rid of quite a few of their players, but the, yes. the core of their squad remained the same. They have one of the best squads yeah, in the championship. They, they but going forward, very good. Dan Juma ended the season on, was this, some like 17 goals. Yeah. So fair play to Bournemouth, getting in sixth position, a little bit inconsistent, yeah. and never looked like that they would actually get into the Premier League this year so uh, yeah that's my 12 to uh, what did we say 17 yeah. something like that so uh, I'm on 11 you're on 19 Nathan so next phase we go from 11th up to 7th just outside the playoffs I went for Blackburn Rovers in 11th position they actually finished 15th they kind of mm. started the season well but sort of fell away so zero points for, them, yeah. for me on that and then I did have Millwall in 10th position they did actually finish in 11th and Gary Rowett's team you know they sort of didn't really fret in the playoffs as such but uh, you know they, they can feel it's, it's a, a fairly decent mm. season for the Lions there next up by a Bristol City what was I thinking of another team who thought yeah. they had won the season back in September or October but it fell away really badly this year I know they had a load of injuries as well and there's a lot of their players going out the door yes. uh, in, the, in the close season they're going to struggle next they, year they probably will uh, and then in Eighth position, I have Preston North End. They ultimately finished in 13th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another bit of a disaster prediction for me there, especially they've been knocking on the door yep. of the players for the last few seasons. And then I had my complete disaster. Actually, I can't talk. In seventh position, I predicted Wayne Rooney's Derby County. You always have to put Wayne Rooney before you yep. mention Derby. The Rams, of course, they escaped relegation on the final day of the season with that goal from uh, Marlon Pat for Cardiff City against yeah. Rotherham otherwise... well put it this way if Sheffield Wednesday didn't exist they'd be in League 1 yeah um, if, if, if Pack hadn't have yeah. scored then who I've been told a lot of people from Derby were giving Marlon Pat the player of the season for the Rams <laughs> then they would have been you know they would have been down mm -hmm. but uh, yeah a disaster there I had them in 7th the and they finished 21st so Nathan your next phase please so in 11th look at that Two perfect scores in a row. Millwall in 11, thought they'd have another fairly okay season, even though it was a bit inconsistent at times. It'd be fairly standard for Millwall, especially when they only came up from League One a few years ago. Building from the post Neil Harris era who got you into the championship and really refining it. I believe uh, Gary Rowett is a uh, manager there now. Nice safe pair of hands, especially for something to build there, maybe even make a playoff push. Then I had Millsborough in 10th, uh, exactly on the nose. Neil Warnock, I knew that he'd get them up the table, especially from there where they were under Jonathan Woodgate, but wasn't really backed doesn't trust his squad as much as he did as Car at Cardiff for being a successful campaign but not enough of the playoffs then I had Swansea in ninth now looking at last season when they absolutely bottled automatics yes they did it again but with some aspects of their squad I thought they would struggle but of course they didn't at times bottling yeah, the playoff final decent quality I think they've got Mm. the highest if not one of the highest uh, wage bills in the division yes. and a lot of those players are going out the door I suspect yes it's going to save but, but then again it's only going to save, save them a couple of million pounds next mm -hmm. season and of course most of their defense well quite a few of their most important defenders are on loan Gay, he's only on loan he's gone though back to he Chelsea he is gone back he? to Chelsea 
their defence is going to be paper thin next season. Issues in midfield, and they don't have a goal scorer up front. You can't class Jamal Lowe as a goal scorer. That's going to kill me in the comments. Well, yeah, he did finish. I think he finished on double figures, didn't he? Something like that. He, um, 14. yeah, fourteen. Not, not a bad return. Not a bad return, but not exactly lighting it up for where they are in the table. So it's good. I can't see him getting playoffs next year as a preview, guys. In eighth place, at Bournemouth. I thought leaving it to Jason Tindall would be a safe pair of hands, but nope. He ended up getting sacked. And why would you replace Tindall with Jonathan Woodgate? You had an absolute disaster at Middlesbrough. He did, but he actually did Stupid all right move. with Bournemouth. I, he did I, okay with I Bournemouth, but I'm still not bad. convinced, to be honest. I, I think mean, they've only gone. made it. I think he's he, gone anyway. I think he may have gone, um, but they still only made it in sick very close with um, Reading could have possibly got in there if they didn't bottle the playoffs or even Cardiff and QPR making our pushes in as well uh, but I don't think it was the right appointment for them they could have got someone better in and they have one of the best scores in the championship but disappointing personally and then seventh position I have Norwich I thought that they'd struggle I thought that they'd struggle coming straight back down from the Premier League teams will start to work them out but nope Daniel Fark, he knows the league very, very well. Got him playing like he did back a few seasons ago. Basically, have the same squad. It worked, Their style of football works in the championship, even though it's horrifying to watch. But next season, they're going to struggle even more because they have just so sold Emmy Buendia. Good luck, Norwich. See you in the championship in two years. So moving on to the playoff places, I had Stoke in sit for four. Um, Michael O'Neill coming in from Northern Ireland from halfway through last uh, last uh, end of the season would be quite a good decision, but didn't really get back there. Some of their players, you could say, a bit overrated, but Michael O'Neill's defensive style of football hasn't really worked in the championship, unfortunately, so way off with that one. Then I had Brentford in fifth. I thought that they'd struggle with their honeymoon period of losing the playoff final last season and just dropping their confidence only a few away from that but they did deservedly get into the Premier League uh, for next season I thought losing the likes of Ollie Watkins would be a huge loss yeah. as well but Ivan Tony coming in breaking all the records superb then look at those <laughs> two in I fourth thought, and third I thought mine were bad yeah yeah but then again look at the points on the bottom I know Derby, I thought they had a safe pair of hands under Philip Koku. Uh, great experience manager, but complete disaster. Brought in Wayne Rooney, which went even worse. You might as well have just kept Koku in, because you might have actually finished 18th or 17th then, even with a relegation battle. But Rooney, I think he lost like six on the bounce at the end of the season. And then Nottingham Forest in third. I thought Lamucci would really get into him after oh, completely bottling it on the last day of the season. But nope, he got sacked. They brought in Chris Hewton. Yeah, they're definitely not finishing just outside the automatics there. Only one point in the playoffs. <laughs> Fantastic. And my playoff positions, exactly the same as you, Nathan. In sixth position, I went for Stoke yeah. City. They did actually, around that middle mm -hmm. phase of the season, do quite well. And looked like they were going to push up into the playoffs, but they badly faded away. So zero points for me there because they finished in 14th position. Then I had Brentford, exactly the same as you as well. They finished in third, so I was two places away yeah. there. So that gives me one point, And I'm really excited to see how well they'll get on in the Premier League, in their new stadium, hopefully with fans back. Yeah. But whether they can survive in the Premier League remains to be seen. Question, Especially, do you rate their new stadium? No. <laughs> I do rate Fair their striker enough. though, but will they be able to keep hold of him? I suspect they will for the yep. first year or first season. And then I had Cardiff in fourth position. Of course, Cardiff fin finished his yep. eighth. A little bit of... Explain what thinking. happened this season. Um, I could. Well, that's a whole another video. So yep. in just a couple of words, um, to rely on Keith for more scoring the goals. Yep. Um, Harry Wilson, okay, he did well in some games I know he scored a hat-trick uh, on the mm -hmm. was it last but one match yeah. of the season but so we really needed to see more of them there was a lot of injuries as well the loss of Morrison um, at the latter yeah. end of the season cost Cardiff as well but uh, a couple more wins and they would have got into the playoffs so yeah. touch and go we'll see what happens next season and another and question that a lot of people like to ask was Saka Neil Harris looking back in hindsight a good decision now since you were um, Harris until the end yes it was probably a good decision decision Maybe they could have done it a little bit earlier. But in third position, I had Norwich. They finished top, of course. Uh, with Rotherham being the perennial yo-yo yo yep. team at the bottom of the table, Norwich are the perennial yo-yo team at the top of the season for the time being. So next season, 
or the season after next I presume they're going to be back down in the championship but congratulations for them finishing yep. first I had them in third position mm -hmm. but my top two of the season I went for Nottingham Forest absolute disaster I think at the beginning of the season looking at all the videos researching them mm -hmm. they were Every, a lot I of mean, people look at the squad. I know it's so good, and imagine the wage bill, especially when they played us, and you looked at that bench as well. Yeah, exactly. How can they afford mm. that, and how are they doing so badly? Yeah, they finished in uh, what was it seventeenth yeah. position at the end Shocking of the season. season. I had them in second. Absolute <laughs> terrible prediction. Yeah. But at the top of the tree, I went for Watford. They had a great season. They finished second in the end, deservedly so. Uh, they're back in the Premier League, and wait till our predictions come out pre-season because. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be pretty um, pretty positive for Watford for next season. Mm. So that is my final table. I came away with 19 points, which is actually better than my result <laughs> yeah. last year. I had 12 last year, so that's a seven-point increase. Hopefully next year I will have, or next season I will have a better return again. But Nathan, your top two. Um, so I had Cardiff finish in second. The reason? Yeah. Had a great end to last season, really did well to push into the playoffs. Neil Harris was superb. He brought in so many good players. Great strength going forward as well. But in the end, as you said, too much reliance on Kiefer Moore. Harry Wilson, hot and cold at times as well. But injury problems and lack of signing centre-backs ah, yeah. really cost us badly. And I think the midfield, the centre of midfield yeah. as well. <laughs> good, good players, but just... Didn't really work. There's something did missing it? there. Yeah. So in the end, Mick McCarthy, you could say it'll be interesting to see what he does next season, but I need to be more careful with that prediction. But either way, I'm going to still put us in playoffs, guys. You know the drill. And then I had Watford finish top. Same as me. Yep. Had a really good squad coming down from the Premier League. I thought it was going to absolutely going to rip up the championship. They did well, but Norwich were just something else that season. So fair play to Watford. So that concludes yes. our review of the 2020-21 championship season. Nathan, mm -hmm. you are the winner for this season. Yep. Where's the trophy? Here it is. The Pop Plan Trophy. You don't get a statuette like mine, yeah. but you can have... Um, a lovely leaves. a lovely plant all the same so congratulations lovely. on 34 points uh, a two point increase on last season yeah. so congratulations on that so we come to the end of the video I'd like to thank everybody once mm -hmm. again for watching subscribing taking part with all the predictions etc but Nathan before we go we've got the Euros coming up yeah are we going to be streaming or are you going to be streaming even? Euros live streams coming up. Check out the channel, guys. Link in description below. They're Brilliant. coming. Excellent. Thanks for watching once again. Look forward to the Euros now. See you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.